This video is to show two additional features of Ortong tools. Here I simulate uh, a run of Ortong tools in a computer that do not have uh, uh, an Ortong access to a server, an, an access to an Ortong server. So if I don't have a proper Ortong server, I have the possibility to run locally uh, Ortong uh, triggered by Ortong tools. There is two. There are two modes. One uh, called reusable run, you are going to choose a show of folder and Ortong tools is going to put Ortong executable, executable in this folder and you will be able to run uh, when you start, we will start Ortong tools, it will run this server automatically and what you are going to store in this Ortong uh, server is going to be stable. Uh, then you have a second month with his a purely temporary or tank uh, session is uh, the server will be destroyed after you uh, finished to use our tank tools this is a purely temporary uh, uh, run of our tank I just have to press pre pre press a run temporary or tank is going to deploy our tank tools and then the application uh, is going to start. I have just to put the correct address, localhost, the default address. And then I have my uh, connection of Artong tools with this uh, purely temporary session. I, uh, the second feature I wanted to show is the import process. Uh, since uh, uh, this work for temporary or definitive session, it doesn't matter. I just uh, want to show that I can bring DICOMs uh, in uh, the uh, uh, in our tank. I have to choose a folder where I have uh, DICOMs. Unfortunately, I don't have DICOMs in this folder, but however, I, I will show you uh, the idea. Uh, I just put the uh, path and press import and software is going to recursively scan all files in this folder and import all DICOM files. So even if he, uh, the the folder is messy, messy with non-DICOM file, it will whip, it will forget the non-DICOM file and push all DICOM file to Ortong server and then you will be able to find the imported DICOM in Ortong tools.